All right, we're on the mirror two now. Same concept as mirror one. 45 degree angle, let's get it done. Now we're going to align mirror number two. Again, that was number one that we just aligned. Uh, back to our baseball analogy, first base, our runner has made it to second base. Now he's got to round second and go to third. Third base is located on top of the laser head. So that's where we're gonna place our target. We'll see that in just a minute here. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to move the gantry to the middle of the machine. If you have a Mira 7, that's going to be 225 millimeters on your Y axis. You can see that on the keypad. So if I'm all the way to the front now, my keypad is reading 450. And if I jog midway, I should end up on 225. If you're using a Mira 9, you want to be at 300, half of 600, which is where you would have been all the way to the front. You don't have to be exact. I'm at 225 and a half. That's fine. The idea is that the gantry is in the middle of the machine. Okay, now we're going to get our number two target out of the accessories box. Uh, this is a square target and it's got the number two engraved on it with an arrow showing which way is up. And same as before, we're going to grab one piece of blue painter's tape and place it over top of the target. Now with this target, we want to make sure that the blue painter's tape doesn't overlap the edge here where you see the number two in the arrow. Uh, it can come out a little to the other side, that's fine, and, and, and top and bottom is not an issue. Uh, but we want this edge to remain free of tape because we're going to need that to be pretty snug up against the bracket for the laser head. So now we're going to turn to the back side and we'll remove the paper backing to expose the double sided tape. So we're going to install this target right in front of the laser head. Now, same as before, the top of the target should be flush with the top of this bracket. The left hand side of the target flush with the back of this bracket. So you're going to just push it against the back and then use your fingers to kind of make sure that the top is nice and, and flush, both at the same height there. You want to take your time doing this because otherwise it's going to be inaccurate. Again, the tape's running up and down this side and across the top here, so you'll just want to push that down. Press the left arrow key and jog the laser head all the way to the left. Again, keeping in mind your gantry should be in the center at 225 for the Mira 7, 300 for the Mira 9. Now press the pulse button to deliver a quick pulse onto the tape. Again, don't hold it down and make sure that you close your lid first, otherwise the laser won't fire. Pulse. So that's our near shot. Now let's take the target off and grab a picture of it. Now again, we want to hold it up to the light and make sure that the picture's in focus. The arrow's pointing up and that I can see the burn mark and the crosshairs behind it. All right, so now we're going to remove the first piece of tape. And again, take any remnants of glue off of the target before we put a new piece of tape on there. Keeping in mind to stay away from that inner edge where the number two and the up arrow are located. We'll go ahead and place that right back onto the laser head. So again, we're going to put the target flush against the back and make sure that it's also flush against the top. You want to fold over any extra tape over the top. That always works so you can feel that it's nice and smooth and they're both flush. Now we're going to jog the laser head all the way to the right. You want to make sure the runner's coming straight down the baseline. It needs to hit in the exact same spot. And if it doesn't, we have to go back and adjust mirror number two. So I'll hit pulse again and let's see where it ends up. 
All right, so now let's remove our target and compare it to the photo of the first shot we took. Now I'm going to pull up the photo of the first shot on my phone and hold up that second shot, the far shot next to it, and man, that's off. It looks like it is a little high and to the right. So we're gonna have to make some adjustments to mirror two to bring that beam down and to the left. Okay, now, the adjustment knobs on mirror two. They are the same as the ones on mirror one. They should look familiar to you. And again, we have to start by unlocking the knobs. And in this case, our second shot was high and to the right, so we are going to have to adjust both knobs. So let's start by unlocking those first. Again, you hold the red knob while you turn the brass knob counterclockwise. That'll unlock it without moving the mirror. Same with the bottom. Now, if you remember from the last mirror, the knob on the right is what adjusts the laser right to left. And if we turn it clockwise, because it's located on the right, the beam will also go to the right. If we turn it counterclockwise, the beam will go to the left. So let's go ahead and turn it counterclockwise a bit. This is where it helps to really watch the red pointer to see how far over we need to go to overlap our first mark. Now we're gonna make an adjustment to drop the laser beam. Again, the bottom knob turned clockwise will lower the beam. So let's do that. A couple little turns while you watch the red pointer. The red pointer is gonna really give you a fair indication of how much you really need to move. So we're taking that pulse. All right, and now we're gonna compare again. All right, now let's see where we're at. Let's take that target off and again, we're comparing to our first shot. And that is pretty close. It could come down just a hair, but left to right, we got it. One more adjustment should do it. All right, so now we're gonna remove the, the tape. It's starting to get familiar now. Let's put a new piece on. And let's get ready to take that shot again. All right, so I'll put the target back on, flush it to the back wall and to the top. And we'll hit pulse and see where we're at. Our far shot is exactly where the near shot was, which again was the only point of this exercise to make sure that from second base to third base, we are aligned. Now while we're looking at this, we can also make sure that our beam path is relatively close to the center of the target. So that again is the second job we have here. It's just to make sure that our beam path is running as close to that center mark as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but we want to go ahead and just take a picture just in case we need to talk to tech support about it. All right, now we've done first base, second base. Now it's time to go to third base and bring it home. Before we do that, let's make sure that we lock down these adjustment knobs. Again, you wanna hold down the red knob and tighten up the brass part of the knob with the other. All right, now we've got mirror one aligned, we've got mirror two aligned. Now we just need to align mirror three and bring it home. Hey, you're starting to get the hang of this. One more mirror to go, mirror three is next.